Correct. And then just so that the viewers know and those that are uh, going to be listening and tuning in, uh, we're going to do just a little bit more. I know that we pretty much were football down it, but it's the fucking start of the NFL season, yeah. baby. And college football already started. And I hate that, you know, we're not going to have time to get to Georgia Clemson and all that. But we're also going to do a little bit of college football. And I'll give you my six pack for college as well. Do the college Ooh. six pack, baby. College six pack. Give me Georgia minus 23 and a half on the spread. They're going to blow UAP out. Give me Notre Dame minus 16 and a half against Toledo at home. They kind of blew it against Florida State, and everybody wants to say Florida State's back, but at the end of the day, if Florida State is indeed back, they should have no problem taking care of Toledo at home. Give me Texas money line. I'm drinking Sark's Kool-Aid. I love him as a play caller caller in college, Um, and I think that at Texas he's got the talent that he'll take more advantage of it uh, than the two predecessors before him because he's Absolutely. he's hungry for that opportunity. And he showed it uh, to me in the second year of the Falcons because he was so much better with Matt Ryan. And Matt damn near had the same MVP stats. Uh, give me Iowa State in the game of the week. This is where college game day is going to be. Give me Iowa State against Iowa on the money line. Uh, and then last but not least, one of my are, – are, we're four through. Uh, give me Oklahoma State first quarter against Tulsa, minus three and a half. Let me tell you why this is such a gem, because at the end of the day, there's no way, unless Tulsa scores a touchdown first, how do they not cover three and a half? Oklahoma State's going to score a touchdown in that first quarter. They might score twice, but at that point, is Tulsa going to score another touchdown? Tulsa would have to score a touchdown first. If not, Oklahoma State scores a touchdown, even if Tulsa gets a field goal, 7-3, there you go. There's your three and a half. And then last but not least, the most hot topic he won in our group chat. I've got the under 64 in the Oregon at Ohio State game, which to me is really the game of the week. But um, I think that that kid's uh, first game at Ohio State, you know, with the fans, because they opened up against Minnesota and they started slow. I think that that's going to have an effect on it. And then the fact that Oregon didn't play so well, and Oregon isn't the same fast. It's not Chip Kelly's Oregon or no, no, no. Uh, my other guy uh, that became the Bears OC uh, not too long after. It's not their offense. No, this, this, is is team. this team is dominated by their defense because they've got the best defensive player in the nation. And they got and they got Mario Cristobal, who's a who's a product of Saban, a great exactly. recruiter, and he rec- he rec- recruits in the trenches. And you know what? Sixty four is a high number. It is, and we're going to have a good uh, Pac-12 conversation because what the Pac-12 is turning into with UCLA, with Utah, with what Oregon is doing, the way they're building from the trenches, it's really going to change the way that conference looks. But, hey, we got two six-packs of bets from Parlay Pete. We got to run. We got to catch the game. We'll be we'll recap with you all next week. We'll see how we've done. We may start keeping score. All right? So, hey, thanks, Pete. Love I appreciate- you guys. I appreciate it, big baby. It's always a, a pleasure to be on the cast, and I'm so glad that we're collaborating to get this done for this football season. You guys better tune in, um, fucking share, because especially with the betting part, it's yeah. going to be pregame, I promise. All right, man. So we're out of here. I'll see you on Sunday, man. All right. I'll see you Sunday. Yep. All right.